Sir John Redwood has hit out furiously at the government for having a lack of vision for post-Brexit Britain. I came to this debate expecting to hear the Minister set out a vision of post-Brexit Britain, how the taxation system was going to be transformed, how VAT was going to be changed to encourage our businesses and give our consumers a better time. Instead, we have six resolutions that are mainly about trying to make sure that they can get even more VAT out of people after we've left them before, and they could have done that at any time. Where is the vision, Minister, that we are going to have a much better tax system after Brexit? We are taking back control of VAT, which was almost entirely under EU control. The government, for example, says it wishes to be a very green government. And yet in these measures, it doesn't even take VAT off a whole series of green products, which shouldn't have them on if you are a government trying to encourage people to insulate their homes and change their boiler controls and to put in uh, more fuel efficient ways of heating themselves. And yet the, the minister has failed this very simple test not to provide us with this, this opportunity here. Six resolutions about a piece of legislation which we're not allowed to see until after the debate a piece of legislation which is going to be very complex because it's mainly about the, the techniques of raising revenue and making sure no revenue escapes. Whereas the Brexit voters out there, the majority in the country that have had to vote three times now for Brexit to make it clear to this House of Commons that even this House of Commons, they want to be in charge, even though there are still too many MPs on the opposition benches who hate the idea of this this country legislating for itself and governing itself and think that every law that comes from Europe is wise and necessary and every law that is made here is somehow inappropriate. And we want our ministers to say, no, we are the people's representatives. We had the majority in the election and we are going to transform our country's economy, recover the economy from COVID-19, level up the country. And that requires bold and visionary leadership and it certainly requires pretty fundamental tax changes. <laughs>